I love Mormons. I've done ministry among the Mormons for over 20 years. Many of them are my neighbors and my great friends. And one of the questions that people often ask, whether you're a Christian or you're a Mormon, is this, are Mormons Christians? We're going to talk about that in today's video. And I want to start with this. Mormons and evangelical Christians use the word Christian in two different ways. It's helpful to use a continuum here. On the left side, we've got a narrow definition of a Christian. On the right side, we have a broad definition of a Christian. Typically, evangelical Christians put themselves on the left side. They very narrowly define what a Christian is. And that's why many evangelicals would say that Mormons aren't Christians. And these days, Mormons tend to use a broad definition of a Christian. In fact, when I first moved to Utah over 20 years ago, Mormons didn't call themselves Christians. But recently, in the last five or 10 years, I've noticed that Mormons, even those missionaries who give tours at the temple down in Salt Lake, that today, Mormons call themselves Christians. And the reason for that, again, is because Mormons are now using a broad definition for the word Christian, whereas evangelicals typically have used a very narrow definition. Now, we can go even a little further to say that institutions are typically defined narrowly by their doctrine, while individuals, whether evangelicals or Mormons, tend to use experiential definitions. So on our continuum, we'd put institutions on the narrow end of the spectrum. And certainly Christian churches would very narrowly be defined by doctrine. While individuals might move a little more toward the middle because most individuals, evangelical or otherwise, tend to pick and choose a little bit what they believe doctrinally. They don't always line up exactly with what their church officially teaches. Now, by the way, this is true these days for both evangelical Christians and for Mormons. So I always encourage people, if you're a Christian especially, I would encourage you to ask your Mormon friends what they believe because just because their church officially teaches it or you read it at LDS.org or something like that, maybe some other book that you're reading, doesn't necessarily mean that that's what they believe. And really that's even true for evangelicals. Most Christians don't sign off on every last little doctrinal statement of their church. But here's where the rubber meets the road, I think on this topic. The most important issue is this. We are saved only by the work of Jesus. So whether you consider yourself a Mormon or an evangelical Christian or something in between, I think it would be really helpful for you to see what the Bible actually teaches about salvation. I've got five things for you just real quickly here. Number one, the Bible says that we're sinners, we're broken. Number two, the Bible says that Jesus is fully God. We have more resources at PursueGod.org if you want to learn about that. Number three, the Bible teaches that Jesus died to save us. Number four, we respond in faith. And number five, and this is really important, our works are the result and not the cause of salvation. Now, in my experience, this last one is really important for Mormon seekers to understand. So if you grew up in a Mormon church and you're really trying to understand the God of the Bible, I would encourage you to read the Bible, and you're going to find that these five things are very clearly present all throughout the Bible. But it's important for you to understand that many Mormons believe, in fact, officially the Mormon doctrine, even though you might not necessarily sign off on the full Mormon doctrine, but the Mormon doctrine on this is that actually you save yourself, that in some way your works save you. And I want to make sure that you understand that that is not a biblical concept. The Bible very clearly teaches that our works are the result and not the cause of salvation. In other words, that we are saved only by the work of Jesus. And so I want to finish this video with a couple of very clear scripture references that prove this. Ephesians chapter 2 verses 8 and 9, it says that God saved you by his grace when you believed. And you can't take credit for this. It is a gift from God. Salvation is not a reward for the good things that we have done so that none of us can boast about it. Now, in my experience with the LDS church, there are a lot of Mormons who actually believe that their works can save them. 
going to the temple, tithing, being a good person, being a family man or woman, all these things. Now, these things aren't bad. It's important for you to understand that they're not bad. But the Bible very clearly teaches us that these things cannot save you, that we are saved 100% by God's grace, which means it's a gift from God because of the work that Jesus did on the cross. And so Romans chapter 3.22 really clarifies it. It says that we are made right with God by placing our faith in Jesus Christ. And this is true for everyone who believes, no matter who we are. This is what makes a person a Christian. So whether you grew up in an evangelical church or in the Mormon church, if you've trusted in Jesus and Jesus alone for salvation, then you can be saved. Now, if you've got questions, you can leave them in the comments below. And if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to this channel on YouTube. And if you want us to help spread the word about the Bible or about Christianity, then make sure to hit that like button on YouTube.